Hey everyone. So we recently found out that Google Home has a trivia feature. We decided to play with it and uh, bring you guys along. All right. Hey Google, I'm feeling lucky. Oh yeah, this is so much better than telling you about the weather. Let me get into character. Yep, there we go. So she gets real happy and we start playing the game. Oh, I like this. She didn't do this last time. <laughs> no, she didn't. Welcome to Are You Feeling Lucky? I'll go ahead and assume you're feeling lucky and start the show. <laughs> On top of being your Google Assistant, I'm the host of this silly show. How many are playing this time? There are two people. Two contestants. Sounds great. We've got five rounds to get through. We'll start with some easy ones so we can get to know each other. Contestant one, would you say doorbell for me? Doorbell. That sounded really cool coming out of your mouth. I'll have to call uh, you doorbell right. from now on. Contestant okay. two, please say linguini. Linguini. Hello, linguini. Wait, did I just call you linguini? I guess that's your name now. Hope you're feeling lucky, She's doorbell, pretty good jokes. because you have like the it. first question. Better than if for dog. any reason you want to end the game early, <laughs> say stop. You got this. What Hall of Fame running back was nicknamed Sweetness? Uh, Dick Butkus. Walter Payton. Or Emmett Smith. I'm not the best sports guy, but Emmett Smith? Uh, wrong. Uh, wait, I think she, I was supposed to go first. So sorry, or doorbell. No. I wish you no. had said oh, Walter doorbell. Payton. Oh, okay. It's unclear whether the nickname referenced his winning personality or his aggressive style of play. On to our next contestant, Was Linguini. Trip, yeah. Your question yeah. is here. People are so interesting. Answer this. <laughs> True or false, the state of Virginia in the U.S. was named after Queen Virginia of Denmark. False. <laughs> oh, nice. All right. Well, lucky guess. Yes, All right, you're up a that's point. Right. <laughs> This is round two. The next <laughs> contestant is Doorbell. Your question is coming up. Right. Geography is the subject. <laughs> Doorbell's ready. In which Better French city is the Gare du Nord situated? Paris, Marseille, Gare du Nord? or Lyon? I don't know this. Uh, Paris. Oh, Jesus. I'm losing this game. Okay, the answer I was looking for is Paris. On to our next contestant, Linguini. This question is for you. Linguini. It's going to be about books and authors. In The Catcher in the Rye, Holden Caulfield thinks most people are what? Phony. Confused. Or kind. Kind. Uh, phony, I think. I never read Catcher in the Rye. Wrong. I, I wish you had said phony. Yeah. Uh, phony. I read like I three, three times, positive I read three. Three times in high school. Now, on to Doorbell. It's time for your question. I hope you like movies, because this one's for you. I like movies. What movie won the Academy Award for Best Picture of 1998? Shakespeare in Love. Elizabeth. Or Capote. Shakespeare in Love. Oh, there we go. That was a total guess. <laughs> you called it. Great job. Linguini, you're up now. Your question is coming up. It's a science question for you. What is the radius of Jupiter? 36,184 miles. 3,959 miles. Or 43,441 miles. Can I, can I phone a friend? <laughs> that didn't seem like an answer. <laughs> what is the radius of Jupiter? 36,184 miles. 3,959 miles, or 43,441 miles? Thir 36,000. Try that one more time, please. Wow. What is the radius of Jupiter? I think you have to say the exact answer. Oh. 36,184 miles, 3,959 miles, or 43,441 miles? That's tough miles. to remember. 36,184 miles. <laughs> That's not the answer they gave me. Sorry, believe it or not, it's, like it's 43,441 43. miles. Well, you're wrong, because I was there. <laughs> I walked the Round whole way four. around. Let's play. Doorbell, it's your turn. Here comes your question. The subject is technology. Okay. When was the first computer released? 1946, oh, 1984, or 1976? 
That was the first Apple commercial, man. <laughs> no, the real answer is 1946. 1946. On to our next contestant, Linguini. <laughs> it's time for your question. As a tech channel, we should have known that. We need the third cars. word in this sentence. Sentence. The. Or word. Wait, repeat that. Are you sure you want to quit? No. <laughs> repeat the question. All right. We'll keep playing. What is the third word in this sentence? Sentence. The. Or word. The. Why do you get the easy ones? What the hell? <laughs> As a tech channel, we should have known the other one. Good. <laughs> Good. Oh, that was the one. Well, I knew this moment would come. It's the final it's the round. Last round. Moving right along. Uh -huh. Let's go to doorbell. It's time for your question. Solve this math problem. True or false, a vertex is the point where two or more curves, edges, or lines meet. True. Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> a point for doorbell. You got it right. Now, on to Linguini. Here comes your question. Give him a hard Think one, carefully. Your where do Panama dinged. hats come from? Ecuador. Panama. Or China. Where do Panama hats come from? China. No. That's not like true. They all come from China. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're made in China. I guess you can't know everything. Sorry. I wish you had said Ecuador. Damn it. But I'm pretty sure they're made in China. <laughs> Fine. You've done it, and now it's done. Let's see who won. I think you won. No, you won. I got like all of them wrong. You two got the same score of two points. Are you <laughs> twins or something? If not, you should go get a DNA test pronto because something funny is going on. <laughs> Do you want to play again? Yeah, sure. We'll play one more round. All right. Same people playing? Yes. Ready or not, the game is starting. Doorbell, you go first. Put on your dancing shoes. It's about music. I got slippers Which on. of these I'm albums was not recorded by Simon and Garfunkel? Year of the Cat. Sounds of Silence. Or bookends. Year of the Cat. Yes. That was me. She asked me. Oh, was it? <laughs> That's right. Nice work. I Moving right along. I right, got one point. Right, point. This is your question. Here's one. It's about animals. True or false? <laughs> there are specialized undertaker bees that live in beehives. I didn't hear the question. Some about bees and beehives? No. <laughs> I really wanted you to get it, but no, uh, they're responsible for carrying dead bees out of the hive. In, in our defense, we didn't hear that question. Let's start round two. That was, and that was your question. Your you're, you're losing. Your uh, question fine. is here. The topic is science. Safety glasses on. True or false? Sirius is a planet. True. True. It's my question. True. Uh, <laughs> and I still lost. <laughs> Bad luck, doorbell. That's wrong. Next up is Linguini. Serious from Harry Potter. Question. This one will test your knowledge of the English language. Which word means a large undulating mass? Billow. Rogue. You? Or incantation. Billow. Wow, what a guess. What a guess. You got it. Good job. My vocabulary is enhanced. Let's start round three, and we're back to doorbell. A question for you is coming. It's about geography. Neckties were first worn in which country? Croatia, France, or Italy? As a Croatian, I gotta say Croatia. Whoa! Yes. Wow! Yes, <laughs> Croatia. You got it right. What an now, achievement. Now, Linguini. This question is for that you. Is awesome. You're a star. Answer this. Which of these Steven Soderbergh movies was made first? Contagion. I don't even know who that is. Side effects. Or Magic Mike. Magic Mike. <laughs> oh. Darn it. My name's Mike. I had to go Strong with Magic effort, Mike. But it's just not enough this time. I was looking for Contagion. And I don't even know what that movie is. Now on to round four. Have I seen that now movie? on to doorbell. Next question. It's about to start. Arya Stark, Daenerys Targaryen, Ooh. and Jon Snow are characters on which TV program? That's not the fair. The Good Wife, Private Practice. That's not fair. Or Game of Thrones. I actually don't watch the show, but it's Game of Thrones, so I know that. <laughs> <laughs> the 
The point goes to Doorbell. Yes. Well deserved. Linguini, you're up. A question for you is coming. You got this. True or false, Andy Warhol had a cat named Marilyn. False. Wow. Yes. He did have a cat. That wasn't its name. The point goes to Linguini. Know? Well deserved. Warhol had two dachshunds. One was named Archie and the other was named Amos. So you didn't have a cat. Oh, no. Archie and Amos? <laughs> final round. I, didn't know that. I repeat, final round. And we're back to doorbell. Your question is here. Technology right, let's go. question. In oh, 2013, God. Dita Von Tees wore a dress made by what? Collecting moon rocks, folding paper, or 3D printing? 3D printing. Wow. <laughs> Shot in the dark, man. <laughs> You've been studying. Great job. A I've been studying. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, sequence. right. Linguini, you're up. Your question is coming. Crack open your history books. What were Discovery, Challenger, and Columbia? Pro wrestlers, space shuttles, or Kentucky Derby winners? Space shuttles. <laughs> yes, that's right. Damn right. Game is I think we tied again. No, I think I didn't. And win that's the game. Let's find out who won. I answered one of your questions, so I don't want to hear it. Doorbell, you win. You yes! charged into this trivia challenge and took no prisoners. <laughs> because this is just a game, and there's right. really no Best... need to take prisoners. Shake uh, hands with your opponent and one play more. again, if one you more. like. Do you want to play again? Sure. Yes. Also, we got to shake hands. Good game, sir. Good game. Don't answer my questions like so. Okay, right. great. Same people playing? Yes. The game starts now. Doorbell, you're up. People are so interesting. Answer this. Which celebrity is the tallest? Cameron Diaz, Prince, or Kristen Stewart? Cameron Diaz. Wow. Yes. Prince is short. I don't know about Kristen Stewart, though. Perfect. She looks short. Way to go. Okay, who's next? That's right. It's Linguini. Your question is coming up. I like this my name. sounds fun. What kind of vehicle is this? Oh. Are they in the water? Yeah, I think it's a catamaran. A turn signal. A fishing boat. Or a space shuttle. A fishing boat. Nice. That was an easy one. Yeah, that was an easy one. But I like that. No way. Linguini. I mean, yes, way. Haha. Uh -huh. She's funny. Hold She's on tight. Funny. This is round two. Okay, let's go to doorbell now. A question for you is coming. Make a mental map. It's geography time. All right. Which of the following was an early name for the city of Melbourne, Australia? Terra Melbournius. Oz. Or Batmania? Oz. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, just guess. I actually didn't even hear the question. <laughs> oh no, doorbell. No, you should have said Batmania. Batmania? Get ready, Linguini. Your question is next. Right. Here comes a sound question. I want to live in Batmania. I think I hear an animal. Which one is it? Oh, fuck. Oh, what the that? An alligator. A hummingbird? Or a Canadian goose? It's a Canadian goose. It's a hummingbird. Fuck! Uh, it's a hummingbird! You heard the. Yes, it's because the wings! That question. The uh, wings! Can't make the, make point the flip, this time. Make the, the buzzing noise. Was buzzing, it sounded like. Fine. Round Why three. would a goose Let's make do this? And we're back to I've seen gooses before. Your question is coming. It's from the world of film. <laughs> All right, Which of see. these movies stars Susan Sarandon? The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Taxi Driver. Or Alien? I don't know. Uh, the first one. Uh, <laughs> sorry, you should have said the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Wait, is that what Get I said? ready, Linguini. First one Your Rocky question is coming. Show. The subject is movie. Uh, well, Hope bad. you've been watching. Could, In I, the 2015 I, movie Ant Man, who plays Hank Pym? Michael Douglas, Paul Rudd, or Ray Park? Michael Douglas? That was an easy one. You got it right. <laughs> Damn it. Round four. Let's do this. On to our next contestant, Doorbell. 
This is your question. Troubleshoot this technology question. When was Steve Jobs born? 1930, 1984, or 1955? 1955. Yeah, 30 was shooting him way too old. 84 was the first Nailed Apple Mart, uh, you must Super Bowl commercial. a lot or something. Linguini, it's your turn. Your question is coming up. Don't overthink it. I should have really helped you with that. The Sistine Chapel ceiling was I painted by anyway. which artist? Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, or Michelangelo? Ooh, uh, da Vinci. No, I, fuck. I, I the think it's Michael. The it's Angelo, Michael. you're right. Uh, Shit. Luck is not on your side this time. I know, you got it, it wrong. The answer I was looking for is Michelangelo. I know, me too. And he's my favorite Ninja Turtle. <laughs> it's final round time, contestants. Doorbell, your turn. F a question L. for you is coming. It's time for a TV question. Give him a hard one. Peter All right. Griffin, Lois Griffin, and Meg Griffin are characters on which TV oh. program? Yes. The oh. Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah. Family Guy. <laughs> that one. Or Futurama. Family Guy. That's not fair. Yes. That was too easy. That was the freaking easiest one ever. You're right, Linguini. Your turn. Here's your next question. God damn it. I'm featuring creatures in this next question. Creatures. True or false? Goldfish can only remember information for 30 seconds. False. Oh, nice. Perfect. Way to go. <laughs> Scientists have found that goldfish can remember information like for up to three months. Oh. I always thought it was like a, a saying. And with that sound, <laughs> your game is over. Let's see who won. And now, the results. Look at that. Both of you seem to have gotten three correct. God damn That's it. great. You shared the victory. And sharing is an important life skill. Do you want to play again? No. Well, it's been a blast. Yeah. yeah. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun for us. And as you can see, uh, Google Home is a great entertainer. If you're ever bored at a you know party with some of your friends, it's a great way to get things going. Uh, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time.